Raider down and, and shutting the Raiders down through the neutral zone. Daniluk is bumped along the wall in Kootenai territory. The puck is cleared to Jagger Dirk, who's pursued by Austin Boris, but it's chipped past him to Montgomery. But he'll hand it right to Andrew Hurley, but he can't keep it on side and gets knocked down after the whistle. Boris comes in, and we're going to have a battle. Boris and Montgomery were the main combatants. Now we're getting a few battles going. Bettower drops the gloves and throws it with Big John Niebrand. Bettower is scoring, but he's lost his helmet. Niebrand has the height advantage. That's the main event going on right now. Bettower trying to throw over the top against his taller opponent. Niebrand is locked and loaded, and they decide just to end this thing in midstream as the linesmen step in between them. Oh, there's a late hit on Andrew Hurley, and uh, that's what draws the crowd there. 11 seconds left, and 5-0 uh, lead for Kootenay, and, uh, and a late hit, and definitely uh, going to draw some attention. The whistle goes, and then it's a blind shot uh, coming in on Andrew Hurley. So some sticks and gloves will need to be retrieved with just 11 seconds to go. As the Kootenay Ice have looked very impressive at the Yardhauser Center tonight against the Raider team, Marty, that didn't play that badly. Well, they didn't play that bad. I mean, you know, you have to look at it. They still got 33 shots uh, towards uh, young goaltender Brett Teske. Teske, I thought, looked a little shaky early on, and uh, they probably had to get to him a little bit earlier. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, they weren't able to do that. But, uh, again, you ha you have to remember, Kootenai Ice are third place overall in the division. So, I mean, this is a solid hockey club. And uh, you look down the list, uh, they got a big... Uh, Big set of defensemen, Big McNabb. We're going to see him guaranteed, I think, on the...